table setup. Oh, wow. three. Mm -hmm. That's uh -huh. really good. Zelly can do the table setup. So I'm going to cleanse the eyebrows. If you're doing the lashes, you can cleanse both at the same time. I'm using cotton, I'm using cotton on the eyebrows. This is part one, which is the lift. Mm -hmm. and you just apply number one. Try to apply it quickly because her skin is sensitive. So I want to do this as quickly as I can. But thoroughly. The directions say don't get it on the skin, but it's impossible not to get it on the skin, especially when I do my next step, which is going to be to put the saran wrap on top. So you put the number one on, and then you're going to take a spoolie and brush them into place. And when you spoolie, remember you're going to take off some of the product, so you may need to go after and apply more product. And you just want to brush them all up. I don't know how to use this little saran wrap thingy. There's a cutter. I don't know how to use it. So I'm just going to take a piece of saran wrap and cut it. And when you apply it, go from the bottom and, and, and pull it up so that you stick, you know, you mesh the lashes or the brows upward. Do the same on the other side. You know what? There's only enough to do one. Mm -hmm. You okay, Mr. Mayor? Mm hmm. Looking nice already. Good. It's really a great thing. I love it. Timer, please. Four minutes. So we process for four minutes. Mm -hmm. There's another brand where part one and part two are different colors. One is pink and one is blue. So when you're removing, you can tell if you removed all of the product off the skin or not. This one is clear, so you kind of have to just over cleanse. I'm just getting ready for my next step. How are you feeling? Well, how long, what, how long has it been? Probably half a minute or a minute. Okay, so far so good. On Miss Sumera, last time she got red. She got pink. Yeah. And so I this remember. time I want to wash, watch and make sure that um, she doesn't get pink. And I want to look at her skin, make sure her skin is not getting pink. Last time it got pink. We definitely don't want to leave the client and go do something else. Right. We don't want to watch it. It almost looks like even her color is getting a little bit lighter too. Yeah, the product is like an uh, ammonium dioglycolate. Exactly. Okay, so something like that. Remove with dry cotton. 38, 7. Okay, probably this one is ready. Do you want to wait longer? No? I mean, that's, I, I'm just 30 no, seconds. I think, I think she's going to be okay. Yes. You, you can over process. So be careful not to over process. It's so the to under process. Yeah, over. yeah. Uh, take a dry cotton and remove product number one. I started with the right eye. I'm gonna do everything starting with the right eye. Her skin is a little bit pink. It could be from me working on her. Now I'm gonna take number two. I already cleaned my brush, and I'm gonna take number two and I'm gonna apply the neutralizer over. 
her brows again, keeping them in the same shape, and applying the new, the saran wrap again. To, to do the star. Um, yes, please. It, this one says four to six minutes. I think neutralizer, you can leave it on the maximum time, so right? Six times? Six, yeah, I think so. It stops the action of the first yeah, one, so, so it's good. It's good, yeah. The first one is the one that really needs to be watched, timed, and removed properly. The way I did mine is not the, the, right, the okay. right way to do it. And then I'm going to go to the first one and remove that one. So you do kind of have to work quickly. Gosh. You okay, Mr. Mayor? Mm -hmm. No burning, right? There's a little teeny weeny sensitivity, but it's doable. On which one? Anyone or both? Or uh, both. Uh huh. But it's doable. It's definitely a chemical, you know. I think it's maybe we, normal. We, you also have done couple of weeks ago this again no we did it a while ago yeah, a while ago a while, yeah. did this one come like with the moisturizer or oil for after no hmm. you know it's a retail I, I text Kelly this morning because mm -hmm. I had a few questions about what she gave us so we're gonna leave that for four to six minutes and then we're gonna remove with a damp cotton so removing number one is with a dry cotton removing number two is with a damp so you need oh, I need the plastic. I did. I put water and cotton balls on oh. in this little well. That's why I didn't use. When I do it, I don't use the. I just. Do you see how I took it out of the container and I just put it on my brush? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think to me that was easier, or I don't know if it's easier, but that's the way I did it. Mm -hmm. um, so this is number one, and I kept number two in here. Mm -hmm. So we're going to leave it the six minutes to make sure it neutralizes so what and then does we it could do? trim it makes you, your brow softer it's yeah more, manageable. more manageable exactly and it keeps that shape so then you just trim mm -hmm. and they're beautiful so it's still neutralizing we are timing it oh uh, what was it? Oh, you can over-process these. And what will happen? Uh, it, the, the hair will, as if we damaged it with bleach, well, you know, with it will get too soft. Like a depilatory cream. It gets kind of... Why? It, like a, too soft too curly, and like, like cotton candy. Tweaky, and then it breaks off. Mm -hmm. Mine broke off. Yeah. Chemical cuts. So we have to be Chemical very careful. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, so you do have to be careful. So you can over-process this. So the first time you work on any client, you're really not sure how many minutes it's going to take. So do the minimum. And then the next time, if it wasn't as smooth as I wanted it or she wanted it, I can go a little bit longer. But it is easy to over-process. So you don't want to do the maximum time ever on your first time. Yeah, so the over-processing, that's what I'm saying. There's no key to tell you. There's no test curl. There's no nothing. Exactly. There's no elasticity test I can't feel them stretch them nothing it's yeah. just by you have to, to listen wear it to the client yeah. you know when it's when it's at its maximum it burns so we just follow the manufacturer's instructions and maybe on the client's record card we write down yes how many minutes it worked on for the first exactly. time exactly first application no, we need to make a Maybe uh -huh. you say, you know, it might take two applications to get the maximum effect. Mm -hmm. To really know what works best for you. Um, but you, looking at Miss Sumera from the beginning, her eyebrows, her hair, it's not that coarse. Mm -hmm. You know, other clients, me in particular like me. too, you, Miss Yermalova actually too, are going to have stronger hair. And so they might need longer time. I have a damp cotton ball because when you remove a number two, you're going to remove it with a damp cotton ball. But you don't want it to be dripping because if I put it here, it could drip in her eye. So I want to squeeze out the excess water and remove. And always ask your client to keep their eyes closed. If you have a client that wants to open her eyes and keeps opening them, put iPads on and they'll keep their eyes closed. It's safer for you and safer for her.
The aftercare, you want to follow the manufacturer's directions, but the aftercare is usually not to get it wet for a day or two. Just after, like after. Yeah, exactly like a hair perm, so that it has time to self-neutralize. It's easy, it's just the client's comfort, the right timing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow, also yes. the application so needs to be very accurate because around the eye the skin is the thinnest. So we have to be careful. Yeah. Right? I'm gonna grab the clear brush to trim her um, her eyebrows now that they're in that shape. So it's better have to have two brushes, one yeah. for the application and one for the solution. I'm just gonna dry them so that I can trim better. Closely. I don't know if you guys want to see. You see this one hair that has that's tweaked? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it didn't straighten that one because that hair is more coarse than the other ones. The other ones are finer and look how they mm -hmm. tamed. And over here too, she's got two short little ones that, that are very short. Mm -hmm. It didn't bend them even. So um, I'm just going to tweeze those out. Here's another coarse one. Mm -hmm. So you can see the difference of textures even on one person. And if you would have noticed that before, like on mine, the ones on the outside grow so far down. You know, they're so resistantly down. I might apply it there first on the two outer edges, give With it a, a head start, time, yeah. and then go to apply on the middle. So I'm just going to trim a little bit. So it's advisable not to use the face wash or stuff on the eyebrows mm -hmm. for two days. Mm -hmm. Not too wet? Not even to wet it, yeah. So yeah. you just like wet, wet, wet. Mm -hmm. Just wipe it not to wet it. When you're trimming, you want to always keep your, sheer, your scissors flat. Don't do this, because I can hurt her. But if my, sheer, my scissors are this way and I just open and close sliding the bottom blade, then I have less chance of hurting her. So lay it flat, and if you have to turn her, turn her. Lay it flat, stretch the skin, and trim. Um, if you are to tint right now in California, maybe even in the United States, the FDA has not approved lash and brow tint. So we're not gonna tint, but once they approve, this is the time to tint your client's eyebrows. I'm gonna tweeze those coarse ones that didn't do anything. This side, she has less hair, so I have less trimming to do. Even here, look at how it, they're still kind of winding a little bit. Maybe next time with this product, she needs another 30 seconds or a minute mm -hmm. so with the, the number one. You will, you will write it in, your, in her record card. Yeah, so we'll write it on her record card this time and do a little longer next time and see if that, if that worked better. It worked pretty well. Sorry, I'm sensing my hand might be in the way. No, we're good. Okay, I want that one hair. Sorry, Miss Mira. Okay, got it. And she's done. There is aftercare. Um, different manufacturers sell different things. Uh, this came from my other product that I bought, and it's a keratin.
kind of a boost or bond. If I'm going to dip in here, I'm not going to double dip, so I'll just dip once and use it for both of her brows. And just apply it to the moisturizer. Back, yeah, mm -hmm. to the hair. And uh, Elabina has an aftercare, Elibana has an aftercare product that you can retail to your clients. Okay. You are done, madame. Can you I'm going to turn up? it let around me, so you can see. Let me lift you. Actually, can you see yourself? You. Oh, wow. That's uh -huh. really good. Um, sorry, can you lay back?